welcome, Marianne here. I'm gonna get my phone handy here. I might want to look at the app. Um, so it's Tuesday, November 9th, the day after. The day after the new WW personal points launched. So here we are. We're all, most of us, I would hope by now, have the app downloaded. And so we're all set there. And I was on a meeting this morning. And if you haven't updated your app, Saturday is the absolute last day after that. The old programs are gone forever. You have to update your app. So that being said, time for another WW Weekly Archive. This is from WW Freestyle from August 5th through 11th, 2018. Create healthy habits. You've got the power. And now you have the tool because they gave us new healthy habit building tools, as we're going to call them today. So here's how to set up behaviors that can lead to success. <sighs> Basically, a habit doesn't necessarily have to be negative because you can have a habit that's beneficial and positive rather than bad, negative, or consequential. So basically, we're going to have a cue, and that's the trigger. That's whatever triggers your behavior. Like sometimes I get stressed out, and that triggers me to go for chocolate. But that's the behavior, going for the chocolate. And the reward would be the payoff from the behavior. And that would just be like... I feel good. I, it's, it's like a comfort to me. So I feel comforted in my, it calms me down if I'm angry and it calms me down when I'm stressed because I love chocolate and it's like my best friend. It's caressing me, right? <laughs> so that's, that's one thing. Or a habit could be something that's every day that you do automatically. Like the trigger could be, well, I got out of bed. So the behavior is, I'm going to go make a pot of coffee and sit down and have my coffee. And the reward is, the reward isn't just for me on that one. The reward is for the people around me too, because I end up in a better mood. I feel energized and I have the biggest smile on my face. I love my coffee. So that's one of my habits that I'm not going to give up. I like my coffee. So that's something, that's a habit. I do it mindlessly. I, it's automatic. I just go and I do it. It's already... It's in the day. It's in the routine. It's, it's the habit. So you're in control of your habits, not the other way around. You can't let your habits control you. So creating and changing habits is totally up to us. The real power of habit is that your habits are what you choose them to be. So you're in control of your habits, not the other way around. Understanding how habits work is key to transforming healthy eating, activity, and mindset behaviors into steady habits that fit your life and help you on your journey. So let's just go to the think again. The unhelpful thought could be, I wish I had healthier habits. But that's just not the way it is. Your helpful thought could be, I may not have as many healthy habits as I wish I did, because none of us are perfect, but that can change. I have the power to create my own habits. Sometimes even our ideas about habits are on autopilot, and that can affect how we feel and what we do. So another unhelpful thought could be, building a habit is too much work. I'll never be able to do it. Well, your helpful thought could be, building a habit does sound challenging, but I can do it. I'll pair a cue with a behavior, a trigger with a behavior. I want to accomplish, the more I do the behavior when I get the cue, the more likely it'll become a habit. So here's a little inspiration from a member. So Janet has found ways to make healthy behaviors automatic. Let's check them out. 
So this is this is key to what we're learning this week with our new uh, our new upgraded app. Okay, so here's Janet. Walking every day. My dogs Lucy and Ricky help me develop a habit of walking no matter the weather. Rainy, gotta walk the dogs. Snowy Boston morning, get out there and walk the dogs. I get an energetic half hour of physical activity outdoors before I have to go to work. So, she actually got more energized by going out and doing that before she had to go work. Okay, so another one could be getting more sleep. And we do have a sleep tracker on our app. Or uh, we're supposed to input it. I think you can sync it with your devices too if you track your sleep on those devices. So my greatest bad habit has been nighttime eating while watching TV. That's me. That's totally me that I did that last night. Nuts, I had cashews. Chocolate, I had WW... Uh, Triple decker chocolate bar and did I? Yeah, I had a fiber 90 calorie brownie bar. <laughs> Whatever I could find to mindlessly eat. I didn't have any chips though, interestingly enough. I think I had a mini kind bar too. I had a lot of snacks last night. But I'll tell you about that in a minute. We're talking about uh, Janet here. So I'm very similar to her. Except I don't have dogs. I take my walk, but not with any dogs. I could find to mindlessly eat. So, but now instead of watching TV, and this is what I've said before, like over a couple of my other weigh-ins, I head to bed to rest or read. And I actually have a book that I ordered. So, hey, she read my mind. I'm not doing any unwanted eating and I'm much more well rested. I'm still doing it. Not every night, but some nights. And that's my habit that I got to get away from. And I already said I got to go to bed earlier like I used to. And I and I did. I got up like 5 o'clock Sunday morning, got stuff done before I went to my meeting, did church, went to my meeting. I even took my walk Sunday. So it, it helps me if I just go to bed at my old lady bedtime that I people always laugh at me when I say, don't call me past 7.30 because I'm in bed by 8. Because I like to get up before the sun. I, that's the quiet morning. I love it. I get more done. And I'm just happier. So another one would be drinking H2O. I started gradually. Whenever I felt thirsty the first week, I drank eight fluid ounces of water in place of one of my usual diet sodas. The next week, I drank one fewer diet soda a day. Another eight fluid ounces of water. The next week, one fewer diet soda and now 24 fluid ounces of water and so on and so on and so on. So now water is all I drink when I get thirsty and I feel great. It wound up being pretty easy to make drinking water a habit. So I pulled this old one out of the archives because this hits on a couple things. The activity and the water because they're trying to help us build better habits with that. They've already had the trackers, but they're rewarding us for activity and water and eating vegetables. So, excuse me, let's see. Today, one of the things they're giving us the, we're getting rewarded by eating a cup of veggies and we're getting rewarded by drinking 60 ounces of waters and we're getting more weeklies by being active. So today I've earned seven points. Can you see it? Seven, that's a seven. Because of my big salad, but that's a habit that I've already done. I don't even know why I am rewarding myself. <laughs> I'm already in that habit. I eat a big salad every day, pretty much every day. Sometimes I'll have soup or something, but most days I have my big salad. I go to Aldi twice a week to get my bags of salad. I, I was cutting them up, but I found that it was actually more economical to go to Aldi because those bags are like 99 cents. They might have went up a dot, and I think they're still 99 cents. Well, I'll see when I go in a couple days. But, and then I add a little romaine. I cut up some romaine hearts and add that to the salad. So I had, I had, I, yesterday I had eight cups. Today I'm just counting seven cups. It probably was eight. I didn't measure my, 
I didn't measure my romaine, but it was more than a cup, so, but who cares? Seven points is a lot, because I get 21 points. So I added those. They're not, sh they're showing zero servings on the plus thing. You can just add them, boom, 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 boom. But I actually, like, I actually, like, track my food, so my whole salad is up here. It's all here. See the seven cups of mixed greens? Yeah. So everything's in there. Um, I mean, with the salsa and the onions, I probably had a whole nother cup. But <laughs> my salad was six points. I earned seven points by, by tracking the lettuce and carrots and cabbage and everything in there. So... Yesterday, I ate those points. Not all of them. I ate all but one. And I'm going to show you how this is something I have to be careful of. I had a one-point breakfast. I didn't have any need to snack in between breakfast and lunch. I had a nice, large breakfast. And the point on my breakfast was my half-and-half half creamer. And uh, so it wasn't any of the food. I had oatmeal with banana and eggs. All zero points. Lunch was six points and I earned eight points for my lunch. So my lunch was actually like negative. I'm trying to get on Monday. I'll show you what. I had one, I started with 21 points and I used 28 points. So I had one point remaining. <laughs> but I want to show you what I did with those. I had... <laughs> 18 points of snacks. 18 points of snacks. Because I had those extra... I had 30 grams of cashews for 6 points. I had the... Fiber now bar for four points. I had the three point kind bar and I had I had two of the triple decker chocolate mini bars, but one I had after lunch and one I had last night. So I had actually last night fifteen points of my mindless snacks. If I would have went to bed, I wouldn't have gotten up out of bed to have those. So and I, I felt heavier today when I woke up. So we're being rewarded to get healthier habits. There's some of us, okay, I love vegetables. So I don't have to create a vegetable eating habit because I'm in, since I've been on WW since July, I've built that habit up already. The water, not so much. I... I drink other things. I talked about that yesterday in my video yesterday. I don't drink alcohol, but I drink like the sparkling ice and the sparkling frost from Aldi. And that doesn't count as water, but it's like 17 ounces of, of fluid that's not caffeinated. And I'll have, I'm, I've got my diet set sodas pretty much down to one a day. Sometimes I'll have two, but I, uh, yeah, my water, I drink probably about 40 ounces yesterday so not the 60 ounces you know not enough to get a point but with all the veggie points i'm not worried about that but there's some people who just don't drink water and they need the incentive and they don't eat vegetables and they need the incentive i'm getting plenty of water i'm sure there was water in my lettuce i'm not worried about becoming dehydrated because i'm always i'm pretty hydrated um i have another i've had 32 ounces for today's and I'm working on my third one but even if I drink all this that's gonna be 42 only 48 ounces and I'm not gonna drink 12 ounces of water before I go to bed to get that point because I get up as it is during the night I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do that to myself <laughs> But that's, that's the tools to create these habits. So with the new plan, they've given us some incentives to be rewarded for the habit. So what's our cue? We want to eat healthier. 
and we're, we want to do well on WW and we have this to trigger us to want to hit the veggie button and build that habit and have the reward of the point that comes after that. So, and then look at my activity. I have, I, I get 28 weeklies right now. I have 46. So that's because under activity, they actually grandfathered my Sunday walk into here. So I've already earned, I've already earned, um, 17 weeklies. See, I go by minutes on my walk and I, I have my, my, um, my fit synced to my phone. So I steps are going to say zero, but that's okay. Weeklies. It shows you that they added 17 weeklies for my Sunday, Monday, and today's walk. I don't know how I took less steps today. <laughs> I must've had a bigger stride today. I don't know because I took the same exact walk, but that's okay. I still got five points. I, I'm not going to tap into my weeklies. I kind of look at all the points I ate last night, like as if I dove into my weeklies. So I'm not sure about this, getting all these points. If I had a big wedding to go to on Saturday, I'd be, yes. I'm going to earn everything I can to enjoy myself <laughs> and not use going to the negatives because I probably wouldn't. I mean, it's possible. But that's about building habits. So they're giving us this extra tool. We got the water with a reward of one point. We got the veggies, unlimited points that you can earn by eating your veggies. I'm still going to earn. I'm going to have two cups of veggies in my rice bowl tonight. So that's that's going to be 10 veggie points that I'm going to earn today. I love vegetables and I haven't even snacked on a darn cucumber or anything. I don't, that's the one thing I got to learn to do instead of the chips. Uh, yeah. So, so those, those are the rewards that they've offered us for the healthy habits. Their thinking is if you're eating all those vegetables, it's going to fill you up. <laughs> My breakfast filled me up with the fiber and the oatmeal and the protein from the eggs. I had a pretty well-balanced breakfast. My lunch was pretty well-balanced with the vegetables. I had protein, I had chicken, and I also had um, black beans. So I had plenty of protein, plenty of vegetables. And my dressing was not fat free and it's a healthier dressing that I use. Um, it's yogurt dressing. So that's, that's all I can say is they're giving us the tools to motivate us to do healthier habits. But some of these habits I've already had in place and the rewards look like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to be penalized for not using the extra points, but look how I used the extra points last night. I don't think that's, I don't think they're intended for me to go having all those 18 points of processed snacks, but that's what I did. I'm honest. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, I didn't even have a I have, I have one Greek uh, frozen yogurt bar in there and that's five points now. It was four last week. Now it's five. Um, the ones that were three points, they're still three points, but they're just hard to get a hold of. They're just not coming into the store or somebody keeps buying them all. So I don't know, but cold weather's coming anyway. And I got my fat free hot chocolate mix. <laughs> so that's going to be what I have in the evenings instead of the bars. But Gosh, I can't believe I opened the cashews. But I will say, my old habits, I would have took that whole jar of cashews and just had as many as I wanted. But I measured it out. I weighed, I took my quarter cup and weighed 30 grams for the six point serving and I didn't go back and have seconds. So 
I'm going to say that was a victory in my splurge last night that I didn't overdo the cashews. But at any rate, that's all I have to say. So let's, let's, let's be motivated to use the new tools to create healthy habits if we haven't been doing so or to be consistent in doing those healthy habits. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for another week. WW Weekly Archive. Thanks for watching.